stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you to Mr. Jones and our wonderful student band. Let's give them another round of applause. Um, it's my honor to welcome and introduce Barbara Dayton, the president of our Board of Education, for opening remarks. Mrs. Cleary, good evening everyone. Welcome to our graduation evening. Uh, it's an honor to be serving on your school board. And I would like to point out that there are a few, there's another board member here this evening, Eric Fredrickson, and some former board members. Dave Conlon is here, Jeff Miller is here. Uh, it's really an honor to be able to serve our community and help make the decisions um, as, as to the education that these kids receive. It's a pleasure to watch them grow and thrive here in this school. And I will say that today, for the first time, it's a pleasure looking at these beautiful cap and gowns in green. Thank you very much, PTA. They look amazing. Um, I've had the pleasure of shaking a number of your hands already at various times at school board meetings. We've, had, we've been able to honor some artists and poets and athletes. Uh, some speech writers, and it's really been very enjoyable. And also hearing your student government this year, they've been very active with a number of, uh, of projects and things that they've worked on through the year, and they can't be active without your participation. So thank you for supporting them and for the support that you've given Spring School. So um, you have plenty of people that you know that you're going to hear from, so I'm going to wrap it up and say that I wish the 85 of you students, and I think our two honorary uh, class members this year who are also moving on, uh, Mrs. Cleary and Mr. Odom. You are, I think, you know, officially you can be representatives of this class for us and wish you all the best up at the high school and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Dayton. Oh, okay, I'm going to try to get through this without a lot of tears. Here we go. Good evening, parents, families, students, staff, and special guests. I am so thrilled to welcome you here tonight to celebrate the spring school class of 2023. As you can see, the weather gods have blessed us with a perfect evening. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, special thanks are in order for so many individuals that made this ceremony possible. To the spring school PTA officers, Leah Boyle, Anna Genota, Melissa Flaherty, Jane Portman, and Megan Payne for everything they've done this year, but also for the graduation gifts and the gorgeous flowers that you see here on the stage. Let's give them a round of applause. Also, we'd like to thank Ocean Graphics, who dressed up the stage with these incredible banners. Thank you very much. Of course, to ben, ben Jones and his merry band of music makers. To our eighth grade parent committee who transformed the Springs Firehouse into an 80s neon dance club for the students later tonight. 
I knew they were in trouble when Leah Boyle told me to dig out my electric blue leg warmers from high school. I still have them. It looks amazing. Thank you so much for that. To our eighth grade teachers and chaperones and custodial staff, and to our Board of Education and Superintendent for allowing us to hold this beautiful ceremony right here on our home turf, I am truly grateful for that. I am also grateful for these two individuals who sit behind me, who I'd like to stand, please, Ms. Melissa Flaherty and Mr. Joshua Odom. They have been my right hand and left hand for the last two years for Josh and year with Melissa, and I can't tell you how incredibly helpful and supportive and amazing they are, and none of this would be possible without them, so thank you so much. I am also grateful for this gorgeous group of students that sit before me. Let's give them a huge round of applause. I have to tell you that, um, you know, the last few months have been difficult getting ready to say goodbye to spring school. And I just want to tell you that I am truly humbled, delighted, and so impressed by all of you, both collectively and as individuals. You are smart, talented and extremely hardworking. You pursue your goals with passion, pride, and tenacity. You're creative and you're fearless, <clears throat> tackling complex issues head on. You are funny. You are so funny. <laughs> this unique ability to find the light and love in every situation will be the torch that lights your way through challenging times. And best of all, you stick together. I've never seen a group of students celebrate each other and take care of each other like you. No matter what, you are the best and the embodiment of spring school spirit, strong, brave, and true. It has been my greatest honor and privilege being your principal and watching you grow through the years. I am so proud of who you are and what I know you will contribute to the world. Thank you for being such a special and unforgettable class. I am truly going out with the best. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Now I'd like to bring up, we actually this year have three valedictorians and one salutatorian and they are going to give us the gift of a, of a beautiful speech. So I'd like to first bring up Molly Stillman, our salutatorian. I knew it would be an awesome place to learn and have fun. 
Two years later, I can look back and see that I was right. Few towns have a community like we have here, and I believe it is something to treasure. All the friendships, the support, and the encouragement at Springs makes it a unique and truly special place to live. For me, a community is a place where people support and inspire each other. They keep you company at your table when you are alone. It's a place where people know you and accept you for who you really are. Springs checks all of these boxes. Thank you and congratulations, graduates. Next up, valedictorian Ginger Griffin. and nine years of making memories. I remember just as it was yesterday, graduating kindergarten, singing the first grade song and looking up to the eighth grade class as role models. Just as we did, I'm sure today's, today's kindergartners were doing the same this morning as they graduated. I hope we have been great role models to each student at Spring School. As we may go our separate ways and choose different paths in the future, we must still remember our Springs family. We all share the memories of chanting SPG for Coach McKee and Spirit Bean watching Mr. Schwab break dance at school dances, <laughs> and surviving the COVID quarantine period together through Google and Zoom meetings. All these memories great, greatly impacted our lives and brought us all together in a very unique way. Each and every memory we have shared is a new page in the book of our life. As we turn to the next chapter of high school, we will continue to learn and make memories together. We will always remember and appreciate the Spring School Class of 2023 family. Spring School has shaped us in, into who we are today and taught us many valuable life lessons, like to remember to treat people with respect, that success comes from hard work, and to always remember to charge your Chromebook before school. <laughs> Graduating today isn't the end, but the continuation of our education and the beginning of our future. Thank you. to bring to the stage Alessa Pico, valedictorian. I always thought I needed to be perfect. I wanted to have the top score, get all the answers right, finish first. If something I did was to perfection, I would want to restart. I was so afraid of failing that I avoided starting. I would push myself to do things with fear and anxiety, but that's a draining way to go through school. This isn't a way anyone can lead a successful life. Leo Tolstoy, the revered Russian author, once wrote, if you look for perfection, you'll never be content. We must fuel our ambitions with an enterprising spirit. I knew I had to change. I started to give myself a break. If I didn't get, if I didn't always get 95% on all of my exams, it was okay. Whether it be grades or extracurriculars, we should all learn that not everything has to be perfect in life or in high school. Perfect is what we strive for, but it's not always what we get. Flawless isn't attainable because flaws are human. Flaws are unique. Flaws are extraordinary. It is important to distinguish between not good enough and tried my best. Trying your best is good enough. If you repeatedly try to make one thing flawless, you won't discover your other talents. The way I used to think was even if I studied many days in a row, I wasn't trying hard enough because it wasn't the highest possible grade. My parents reminded me that although they were proud of my grade, they were more impressed by my work ethic. We should honor the work ethic of our eighth grade graduates, committed to excellence, committed to kindness, committed to determination. We're not always perfect, and that's okay, because perfection is progress. Perfection isn't about being the best, it's about being your best. Thank you.
And last but not least, valedictorian Ella Manu. Graduation feels like a time to reflect on the past. My fellow graduates have already spoken about the importance of the Springs community that cares about every single one of us. The past memories that make us who we are today. The amount of progress we've made throughout our years here. However, tonight is also an important time to talk about the future. To talk about moving on. Moving on to high school, a new chapter of our lives. East Hampton High School will be a big change. Even though the high school may seem difficult, it also presents great opportunities to learn, to spark new ideas, and to get us thinking about what we want our future careers to be. We will undergo new experiences that we will remember forever. We will meet new people and create new relationships. Although this may cause friendships to weaken, we will always have memories of spring school that we will cherish forever. We are going to have to make hard decisions in the future. In some cases, there are distinct decisions where the right choice is obvious. However, other decisions may not be as clear. But we've been preparing our whole lives for these moments and are ready to take on the challenges. Four years from now, some of us will have to make some of the biggest decisions life has to offer. College, work, moving away from home, or even starting our own businesses will be huge steps. This is when life will get real. We'll be off on our own. To some, that might feel scary. But to me, that's really exciting. It should be exciting for all of us. Just think of the opportunities ahead. Each opportunity is a step towards the future. Imagine the potential ideas we can explore, the lives we can impact, the differences we can make. We are the future. Thank you. Wonderful job. Okay, the next portion of our ceremony is the presentation of awards. We have many generous organizations and community members who would like to honor and recognize some of our graduates for outstanding leadership roles and hard work and determination and kindness. So we have some um, guests that will be presenting today. And I would like to first call up our first presenters are from the Springs Fire Department. We have um, Mr. Timothy Weber and Mr. Brendan Credo. Chief Tim Weber, and to present the awards is um, Second Assistant Chief Brendan Breda. Good evening, Spring School. It's my pleasure to announce this year's scholarship and athletic awards. For Valedictorian, Ella Manu, Alyssa Pico, and Ginger Griffin. Molly Stillman. Outstanding male athlete, Miles Manu.
outstanding female athlete, Samantha Rodriguez. Brian Carabine from the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Good evening. I am honored to be able to congratulate the graduating class from the uh, members of Everett Albert Herter BFW Post 550. And before I present the two awards I have, I would like to make a few comments. One of the things you have now, you're moving from one phase to another phase of your life. And if you feel that you haven't done enough, you have a chance to uh, make a change. And the other thing to remember is that Bonner Creek is in Springs and you are the real Bonnerkers. <laughs> so I have two awards here from the officers and members of VFW Post 550 and the first one is for scholarship and it goes to Benjamin O'Sullivan. award is for leadership and that goes to Valentina Arango. Thank you. It's really a privilege to present the James J. McCourt Math Award. 
award in honor of my father, and I really appreciate the Springs Teachers Association for continuing this award. Um, anyone who knew my father could tell you that he was a busy man. He cared about people, and he felt that he could and should make a difference in the world. If you didn't know him, let me tell you about my dad. He moved to Montauk in the early 60s before settling in East with my mother in 1968. Originally from Brooklyn, he loved the people and the outdoors of East Hampton. Because of this, he became a town trustee and for 14 years during the 70s and 80s, and because he wanted to ensure East Hampton remained the beautiful place that we know and love. Seeing that there was no Ammons Association, he co-founded the East Hampton Village Ammons Association in 1974. He also joined the East Hampton Fire Department and went on over 3,000 calls between the two organizations. Um, he loved working with kids, and so he became a teacher and a coach. First at Amagansett, and then here at Spring School, where he taught for 30 years. He was a fierce advocate for women, and hated when everyone, anyone tried to say that boys are better in math and science. And he would swiftly give them a lecture on all the great achievements of women, and talk about how he loved coaching the girls' teams the best, because the girls truly really worked together and supported one another. So I remember him coming home from work one day with a book on volleyball, and I thought it was strange because he had never played volleyball before. Um, but I asked him about it. He said, the girls need a coach or they won't have a program. So I'm going to learn it together with them. It's going to be great. So they had a winning season. He was so proud of his girls. Okay. He loved math, and he tried to get the kids to see math as he saw it. Fun and exciting and extremely important in their everyday lives. He showed them how to calculate discounts on sale items, how to measure ingredients when cooking, and how to solve problems and puzzles. He never mentioned to the kids how one of his calculations helped uh, crack a Russian code during the Korean War and earned him a silver star. Okay. This year's winner of the award is a dedicated and responsible person. She understands mathematical concepts and quickly and easily. Outside of academics, she's known for her kindness to others and her exceptional character. She exemplifies all the qualities my father held most dear, and he would have loved teaching her. So I'm very proud to present this year's winner of the James J. Math Award to Eileen Bermeo. Education Foundation, Mr. Shaw Knight. Just want to give a little extra special shout out to this eighth grade class. Many of you that I've had since kindergarten science, all the way through sixth grade, junior lifeguarding, swimming, and coaching track. It has been an amazing group, and I have some incredible memories of you guys. Um, really hoping for a lot coming out of you at the high school, and I know you guys will step up to that. And like we heard earlier, you know, we're a family here at Springs, so look out for each other up at the high school. So my award from the East Hampton Education Foundation goes to someone who their habits of the mind is striving for accuracy and precision. Well, I've had her in science from kindergarten all the way through sixth grade, and then was fortunate enough to coach her in track as well. And there is nobody who strives towards being more accurate and precise than Alessa Pico. to introduce Gabby Miller, Dan Labrazzi, and Rachel Newcomb for the Matthew Lester Humanitarian Award.
Good evening. My name is Gabrielle Miller. I am the president of East Hampton High School Student Body, and I also graduated Spring School in 2019. First and foremost, I just want to congratulate all of you sitting in front of me. Super exciting feat. Can't wait till you get to high school. I am here with my sister, Rachel Newcomb, and my cousin, Daniel Brosie, and we are here on behalf of my Aunt Dana Lester to present the Matthew Lester Humanitarian Award. Matt was a 2013 graduate of Spring School. He was someone who loved his community and Spring School, and he was always thirsty for answers and was always trying to figure out a way he could help out and make things better. Although he left us early, he left an incredible mark on us here. When Matt was just a few years younger than you guys sitting in front of us now, he had written to President Barack Obama as a Long Island Kid Ambassador of Earth Hour, which encourages energy conservation by asking people to turn off their lights for one hour every year. When the president wrote back, it sparked Matthews to begin to write letters to village, the village and town of East Hampton to participate as well. And he continued to promote the efforts through his relationships, even through those at Spring School. It was something that he was very excited about, and he even got both the town and the village to turn off all non-essential lights for an hour that year. He was very concerned about the environment and realized the importance of bees and butterflies to our ecosystem and planned out in a planned out a pollinating garden at his as his Eagle Scout project that was started when Matt was still Earthside and finished by his family and friends. It bears his name at the East Hampton Farm Museum. As a teacher and mother of two, I try to pass his enthusiasm for the environment to my students and my kids with the promotion of Earth Hour every year and the knowledge and importance of bees. Matt was always trying to help in everything he did, whether it was school, church, or his family and friends. This scholarship goes to an individual who goes above and beyond just the ordinary and everyday helping out and community service, but tries to make a difference for everybody. I want you all to remember, as you start high school in the fall, that there will always be someone there for you. Remember, you are so loved and mean the world to someone. This award is an honor to be awarded, as Matthew meant so much, not only to our family, but also the community. Be proud of yourself and don't carry the weight of this award lightly. Be a light in this sometimes very dark world. At this time, I'd like to recognize the 2023 Matthew Lester Humanitarian Award winner. Congratulations to Austin Allen. Please join me. So tonight we have a very special award. You'll see uh, security guards out in the field. They're dressed in khaki pants and red shirts. When we came to Spring six years ago, we were in the midst of trying to figure out security, and I didn't have a clue. I asked this private detective who was retired from Suffolk County to come out to Springs and help me. That was James Garcia, Lucy's husband. It was his vision to have security guards speak to students, to usher them back and forth to the building, to meet with parents, to socialize with staff not security outside the building, just pacing back and forth, but get to know your community. Some of our security guards actually come to events that are held for our students, like poetry and robotics all the way out to Hicksville. That's the type that he envisioned. So tonight, we want to give a scholarship in his memory. Jade and Mila is a student that aspires to do something in security, so we wish her well.
I have the pleasure of also presenting two awards close to my heart. These students have excelled in an area of robotics, and this award is given by EnviroScience, another company that, again, when you're not an expert on health and safety, call the experts EnviroScience. Alan Austin, and oh, I'm sorry, Austin Allen and Tucker Bach. team made it all the way to Massachusetts this year for an international competition. So, because I said I put springs on the map. This next award is also very special to me. I came to Springs School 2017 and I lost my dearest friend, my aunt, someone who always persevered. And this award goes to somebody who I actually look up to here at Springs School, Phoenix Maxi. It's fun to sit up here and watch the looks of surprise on, on the kids' faces when, when they get their awards. Um, I, I have the honor of inviting up Ms. Joan Branch, who is representing the Springs Teachers Association. Good evening, everybody. As a life member of the Springs Teachers Association, I'm so honored to give the award tonight. But before I do, on behalf of all of the, all of the teachers of the school kids, congratulations. We are so proud of each and every one of you, and we know you're gonna do excellent things at the high school. This evening I'm giving two awards for fine arts. The first to Eileen Bermeo. from the following businesses or organizations could not be with us tonight. So I have the pleasure of presenting the following awards. Uh, for the East Hampton Town PBA, we have two awards. One for Ms. Claire Dorn, and the, uh, uh, Claire, and the other for Mr. Benjamin O'Sullivan. to congratulate and recognize Nate Tarbett.
State Association of Business Officials, otherwise known as New York ASBO, they're acknowledging and recognizing Kevin Gutierrez. Services would like to award Emma Boyle. Service Award, there are two. The first goes to Reyes Pina. And the second award goes to Kaylee Everhart. Next batch of awards, I'm actually going to turn it over to our assistant principal, Mr. Josh Odom. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> um, our next award is the Triple C Award from Letitia, Letitia James, our Attorney General. I've lost it in your chart here. The first goes to Marcus Ransky. <laughs> And the second to Valerie Torres. for Steve Ballone, the County Executive, Certificate of Achievement for Matthew Chuya. This is the Comptroller Award. The first goes to Tucker Bach. And the second to Natalia Palacios. comes from the Springs Historical Society, and this goes to Janiel Gonzalez. We have 
have two awards from the Springs Improvement Society. The first is for Andres Prieto. And the second is for Kimberly Adebalo. Our next category is a big one. We have five recipients of this award. This is from the, the Springs Technology Award. Uh, you actually get a really cool award. So, the first is for Field Fredrickson. The second is for Hudson Goulart. Our third goes to Tucker Bonk. Our fourth award is for James Barrera. And last but not least, Ella Manu. award is extremely meaningful and bittersweet. Um, Anna Bure by Lytton was a student here at Spring School and she also left us too soon and we want to honor her memory as her parents do through the Anna Bure by Lytton Foundation. They are a wonderful foundation. They have turned their grief and their sorrow into an incredible organization that um, promotes the arts, creative writing, all kinds of graphic arts, and we at Spring School are a proud recipient of their services. Their um, artists come and push into our classrooms, our art rooms and our classrooms, and teach our children the love and the beauty of art in a, in a world that sometimes is ripe with pain. Um, I personally had the honor of teaching Anna and Matthew in both fifth and sixth grade, and I can say that their spirit is here with us today, and they would fit right in with this graduating class of eighth graders because just like you, they were smart, talented, kind, and incredibly awesome. So, on behalf of the Anna Mira by Lynn Foundation, this award goes to Miranda Tucci. American Legion Post 419 Award. There are two. The first is for Americanism, and that is being given to Nelvin Lopez.
American Legion Auxiliary would like to recognize for Americanism, Amy Takore. And for citizenship, Nathalia Palacios. are for the Flores W. Miller Sportsmanship Award. The first is given to Brenda Avila. The second is given to Marcus Aransky. And the third award goes to Hudson Goulart. Council Award, and that's being given to Charles McMillan. <laughs> Charlie had a, a minor playground mishap this afternoon, and we are very glad he was able to make it to graduation. He is such a trooper. Congratulations. This last award is the Principal's Award. And this is to a very special student who has endured quite a bit. And he is, we are so, so happy that he's here with us tonight. Um, we would like to award this student for strength, courage, and serious perseverance, Mr. Jacob Delig Espinosa. the stage. You will have your diploma in your hand. You will shake your hand. And you will look out to your beautiful families for a nice photo opportunity, and then you can return to your seats. Okay, Austin Allen. <laughs> Valentina Arango. <laughs> Santiago Arango. Juan Armijos, Brenda Avila, Aileen Bermeo, Tucker Bach, Emma Boyle, Jose Cajamarca, Grace Camacho, Justin Campo, Alan Cando, Allison Cardozo, Evan Castillo,
second row, please stand. Gabby Castro. <laughs> Olivia Chapman. <laughs> Sienna Chapman. <laughs> Maylin Chavez. <laughs> Emily Shima. Matthew Chua. Patrick Conlon. Esteban Diaz. Claire Dorn. Kaylee Everhart. Saul Escondon. Reyes Fida. Field Fredrickson. Jotniel Gonzalez. Valeria Gonzalez. Hudson Ullard. Stand. Ginger Griffin. Emily Dwalba. Zara Guerra. Marilyn Guevara. Kevin Gutierrez. Peter Guzman. Jason Inamagua. Madison Kelly. Sophie Lancashire. Tatiana Leone. Joseph Ligui. Karen Livasaka. Sophia Bone. Jocelyn Lucero. Phoenix Maxi. Charles McMillan. Okay, 
second row, please stand. Brian Pilko. Maria Pinto. James Pitchens. Andres Preto. Ariel Hewen. Catherine Reininger. Samantha Rodriguez. James Rojas. Harold Ruiz. Patricio Sanchez. Derek Sanchez. Samantha Soto. Molly Stillman. Nelvin Lopez. Amy Tapuri. Nathaniel Tarbeck, Aaron Torres, Anna Torres, Mallory Torres, Miranda Tucci, Isabella Vargas, Alan Bella Cucha, Jay Pintanilla. You have your diplomas. Well deserved. Graduates, I would like you to please stand and face your families. Please join me in congratulating the Spring School Class of 2023. by Homeland Security as one of the best in Suffolk County. Woo! 
You are a fierce advocator for professional development for our teachers. You set the bar high, not only for your staff, but for your students. You spent countless hours worrying about students, mental health. You work closely with parents. You went to children's homes to check on them because that's what Ms. Cleary does. You brought the World's Fair and Diversity Ambassador programs to Spring School and brought it back after a global pandemic. You will be missed, and we wish you and Maeve only the best in your new adventure. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Odom, please stand. Mr. Odom was only with us for two years, but in a short time, he left your mark. You connected with students and staff. You held everyone to high standards, and I mean everyone. You brought restorative practices to the school, teaching students that their actions had consequences, but that they could learn from them. You never forgot a birthday. You wrote handwritten thank yous. We can all learn from that. You thanked individuals for doing things that were part of their daily day. We wish you only the best in your new role, role as superintendent principal of Montauk Schools, and I personally look forward to working with you. Best of luck, and thank you for everything. <laughs> to our teachers and support staff, thank you for another great year. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of our students. <laughs> to our Board of Education for giving of their time, supporting our students and staff, Mrs. Dayton, Mrs. Field, Mr. Bray, Brayban, Mr. Fredrickson, thank you so much. Graduates, you need to stand one more time, turn around, face your parents, and thank them. Okay, you can be seated. To the graduates of 2023, we're so proud of you. You are a special group of students who care deeply for one another and will continue as you go up to the high school. You have successfully navigated a pandemic, and school construction, and a change in building leadership. You're resilient. Academically, you all thrived. Giving your best, taking extra effort to care about one another. Your eighth grade speeches impressed us. You succeeded on the courts and in the fields, and in the water. Some of you even participated in varsity sports. You made us proud as you visited Ellis Island and Philadelphia. People commented on how well behaved you were. They're watching. Many community members acknowledged your success with awards and scholarships. Please remember to thank them. I will miss all of you and wish you only the best in the high school. There are many opportunities waiting for you. Make the most of them. Remember the words of J.K. Rowling. We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves. We have the power to imagine better. Best of luck, class of 2023. Okay, during the processional, the recessional, we're gonna ask that everyone stays in their seats except for the graduates. There will be an opportunity for photos uh, and some cap throwing, if you will, out in the back of the field. And again, we'd like to say congratulations we love you. I will miss you. We will miss you. Thank you for everything. And congratulations. Put your tassels to the other side. <laughs> the wind might work.